What's up, YouTube? Stu Doc are gonna be doing a duel here with Evil Swarms, and as you can see, I'm going against 902. Yes, 902. This guy is. <laughs> well, I, in my past, I was I'm one and one against this guy, and this is the third time we've dueled. He has gotten a 2,000 rating before. He's been in first place. Really great player, and it just happens I I have to be recording this time. So let's see how this duel goes. But I'm using Evil Swarms and rated. It's a form full match, obviously, but. I was using Constellers a lot today, but I just, I just kept on getting sacked with Constellers. Like, I would have went up against the Mirror Match and just, um, like, I had total control, and then he top decks, like, two MSTs to get rid of everything, and then goes Pleiades, and I just can't do anything. Then I went up against, went up against Chronomaly today, and uh, I just opened Garbage. Uh, one match, and then I went, went up against Chronomaly again, and then um, he opened, like, Triple disc and um, game two, like he just had torrential and seven tools, um, so it was just way too sacky. And then another match I did with Constellar today, I was one up against Fire Kings, and the guy was just so lucky, like triple rekindling, double wolf bark, and just nothing. So I just, you know, what, I'm gonna play Evil Swarms here in raided, and I've actually been um, X1 with this deck. Like I've been, I've been seven ma seven matches with Evil Swarms, a new form. I've only lost once, and these have been ag ag against good decks, good players. No, no random stuff, unfortunately. I like the random stuff, but as you can see, that Excite on Night play that I just did right there is really good, and the Watchers are starting to come in. Um, but at this point, I'm able to make an Ophion, so um, if he grabs Temperance, it doesn't matter because he still can't do anything. And grabbing Pandemic, like there's nothing Prophecy can do because they don't have like any other outs to the cards other than like fate so here i calculate to see if it's game and it's actually not but i end up summoning the helio anyway um and he end up finishing my ophion and i'm like okay this is gonna be um either if i pandemic it now i risk him having another temperance or a life but if i wait then so as you can see that was a really big comeback because um, that excite on night really won the game i know i might have misplayed in the beginning and not a blind mst's back row when i had the thunder king because i know thunder king still would have been a threat, but um, he did actually draw into Raigeki's break, so I don't think it was that big of a misplay. I don't really know. But at this point, Prophecy is just being Prophecy, and he is just total control, total the nuts, fate, everything. Like, fate going to one does nothing. I don't care what anyone says. There's another Prophecy match I did today, and he, he he's played fate four times in one duel, and I, I lost count how many times he played in the match, but fate going to one does nothing, and Basically, he plays Fate four times in one duel in another match I did, and that's just crazy. Um, but as you can see, he Phoenix Wing Wing Blast my whatever Solemn Warning, and it is pretty much game over from here because he knows I'm going to top deck um, a Spell and Trap, and I pretty much have nothing. And he has the tower and back row. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I was playing Evil Swarm Rated. I was really. I was thinking of actually bringing back Worms and trying out Worms on Raid because if you guys um, have seen my videos in the past, I was actually a pretty big Worm fan. I did try the deck and I love the deck, but the thing is, once Dragon Rulers came out, um, Worms just, they auto-lose to Dragon Rulers. Like, it's insane. But now the Dragon Rulers are out of the picture and the format is slowed down and Heavy Storm is banned, I really do think Worms um, have some potential to do something. And just because I'm one of the... Uh, I, I just love worms. I love W Nebula Meteorite and stuff like that. So here I open. I don't open Ophion, but I open Macro in Mistake, and he doesn't have the MST, which is. Um, I, I'm not surprised because um, game two we didn't draw an MST either, or didn't have it, so I don't even know if he's siding him or anything. But here I just draw another mistake, and he draws two cards. And um, here I'm actually really excited because it is quite an accomplishment for me to to beat this guy for the second time. Um, to be honest, even though I know I'd open two mistake and stuff, I mean, he opened really good both games, and you know, that's what the thing I don't like about decks like Prophecy and Mermels that just auto lose to one card, like P Mermels auto lose to D Fisher and Macro, and then Prophecy, like, auto lose to mistake and stuff. So that's the thing I hate about those decks. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up for uh, more duel like that. So thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe.